Hey guys, what's up? We're back with some more Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We've got some side uh, quests that we need to take care of before we move on to Pharos or Navaria. So uh, we'll go ahead and get those out of the way. Starting with, I believe, is Hostage. Yeah, hostage in the Hades Gamma Cluster. It says fanatical biotics in the Hades Gamma Cluster have kidnapped the chairman of the Parliament Subcommittee on Trans Shaman Studies and are holed up in a derelict freighter in the Ferronata system. Okie dokie. Well, let's head on over there, see what all the fuss is about. Here we go. <clears throat> Ferronata. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher Moor. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Cerberus. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Damn, Cerberus. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. All right, so we'll have to address that at some point. The MSV Ontario. So let's go ahead and check out the system real quick. Oh. This large asteroid has several smaller bodies orbiting it. Survey. While scanning this asteroid field, you detect a large deposit of magnesium. Check this asteroid. Ugh, it's so hard to keep it straight with a controller. All right, nothing. Nepno, I guess. With a rare combination of features, Nepnow is a particular interest to the scientific community. Nepnow is a small terrestrial planet with a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and krypton. As with all the worlds of Farinata, its surface is scorching hot. The crust mainly consists of silicates laced with iron. Surveying. While scanning this planet, you detect a large deposit of thorium on a nearby moon. Alright, let's go check out uh, Juntauma, I guess. Some of these names. <laughs> Juntauma is a small broiling terrestrial world. Its thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane is being steadily blown off by the powerful solar wind from the star Farinata. Wow. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of copper. Its density is low enough to leave the world tidally locked to Farinata. The uh, tidally locked means that only one side of the planet faces the sun uh, at all times, which is pretty cool. The Alliance Defense Data Network notes that several ships have been spotted cruising near Juntama with transponders turned off. While an Alliance patrol attempted pursuit of one, the unidentified vessel rabbited to FTL. Its trail was lost when it obscured its light trace in the confusion of signals along the Anasi Ishtar shipping lane. Surveying. Prothean data disks discovered scans of Juntauma revealed a derelict freighter in mid-stage orbital's decay. Your salvage team boarded the vessel and determined it had been attacked by raiders. There was little of value still on board, but the team did find a Prothean data disk. And now, Tunshagen. Tunshagen? Tunshagen is a hydro... 
Tunchegen is a hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of chlorine and nitrogen in its atmosphere. It has an unusually small number of moons for a gas giant, a mere seven. This is no doubt due to the star Farinata capturing the majority of the mass during the nebul nebular collapse that created the system. That's it. On to the Ontario. The Ontario is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design, configured for mixed freight and passenger hauling. It is making a hard burn for the cover of an asteroid cluster. Boarding. I believe we'll want Caden. And. I really like these floors they use. It's really cool that they did that little detail. I like it. Darn it. Get her, Liara. <clears throat> Come on, get up, Shepard. Get up, Shepard. Try this one more time. Intruders, kill the hostage. We should make haste if we have to save the chairman. Caden. Oh, damn it. Get up, Shepard. Oh my gosh, look at her just laying there. Useless. Useless. is getting annoying. Intruders, kill the hostage. Let's I'll get this one. You bitch. Now it gets fun. My goodness, we're all just laying around. All patched up. Come to me. Oh shit. Hurry, people, we're l limited on time. Okay, wrong room. Oh, my gosh. Why does it do that? Ah, goodness! <laughs> Pain in my ass. All right, now that we're done looting, let's go save the hostage. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. 
Let's not do anything we're all going to regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What, we're supposed to trust you? I'm an L2 like you. Trust me, the commander can make sure that Burns follows through. Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Well, I already killed, Thank like, you. all of you. <laughs> I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. A Fifth Fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. And that's why you want Caden too. He kind of helps persuade, you know, Burns to, I mean, to, uh, or not Burns, the guy to kind of spare Burns and release him to you. Now right, let's get out of here. Message coming in. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth fleet out. You're very welcome. All right, now we're going to try to f help uh, Groth or... Whatever the heck his name is. Garth. Groth. His brother is in the Strenus system, I believe. And uh, I cannot remember where that is. Haha, -ha, I thought so. Charted by a thick atmosphere of complex hydrocarbons, Yonthoral has never been fully mapped. The surface is hot and completely covered by a global ocean of liquid hydrocarbons. There are indications of primitive organic life developing deep within the global ocean. Interesting. Medallion recovered. Your scan uncovered an ancient deep space probe slowly orbiting Yonthoral. Tally brought it on board, dismantled it, and found a League of One medallion hidden in its payload. So sweet. Uh, Zawin. Zawin has a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of cobalt with deposits of copper. Planet side conditions are hazardous with constant ice storms racking the surface. Hmm. And Tatara? And Tatara is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of ammonia. Hydrocarbons in the atmosphere lend it a distinct brown tint. S -s -s gas deposit surveyed. Scans from orbit have detected a large concentration of helium-3. Trelin. 
Trilin is a lifeless rock with a trace atmosphere of xenon and krypton. Its surface contains large amounts of iron and magnesium silicates. Due to heavily catered, due to heavily cratered terrain, starships are discouraged from landing. A Solarian religious cult claims that a certain pattern of overlapping craters in the southern hemisphere resembles their goddess. Vessel, vessel, uh, vessel gone. A standard hydrogen helium gas giant, vessel gone's atmosphere is tinted blue by trace quantities of methane. Beautiful, beautiful methane. Okie dokie. Are we missing something here? Yeah, see, I was gonna say, isn't there something you gotta scan? Hey! Alright, the, the, the Majesty is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design. The ship is a derelict. No, the ship is a derelict. All compartments are composed of space, and the fusion plant is leaking. The damage is consistent with ship mounted mask accelerator fire. A faint trail of radioactive particles, possibly exhaust from a su sub-light nuclear engine drive, leads toward the nearby planet of Zawin. Ah. Let's go with Ashley and Garrus. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna keep doing that. Alright, oops, I keep doing that, I don't know why. Turian insignias. Uh, would you quit? This fragment appears to be from an old model freighter. Part of its, oh, part of it is marked with the chatty outpost insignia. Oh, I see it. I see the debris. Oh, no! Ah, uh, so much harder now. Here it comes. Shit, 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 shit. Don't hit me. Oh god. I'm dying. I love that you can move now while you're repairing. Before you could not move, you were like stuck. You had to go hide somewhere and repair your stuff. Damn. Uh, woo. Kicking my ass, you nasty thing. Oh my gosh. Shit. Shitty ass.
<laughs> oh shit. Yeah, oh, it's what? It went through? That's some bullshit. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. can't use my weapons <laughs> while I'm healing myself. Ouch. That burns up. Die. Oh, finally. Yes, yeah, son of a bitch. Look at my poor Mako. All that for some low damn skill. Oh, hang on. You know what? Let's see if Garrus has some. Oops, wrong one. What the hell? I haven't upgraded Air Garrus at all. That'll do for now. Skilled. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I went and got Caden. <laughs> We're gonna get this shit. We worked hard for it. Woo! Take that. All right, let's see what these anomalies are. There's three of them. Okay, we'll just make a big circle back to this mercenary camp here. So, first anomaly. Is this a way? Oh, I'm driving backwards. Oh, my poor Mako. You know, I thought maybe going back to the Normandy, grabbing Caden. I'd have fixed up my Mako. Nope, nope. Still looks like bird shit. Redeploy. It appears this person was trying to mark the nearby mineral deposit when he died. Or was killed. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Oops, a wrong button. You have successfully surveyed a small deposit of iridium. Little solar panels. Do 
Discovery. There appears to be no one left at this camp. The generator is still functioning, but there are no signs of former occupants. The cap the camp's computer notes several locations of interest. Oh really? Let's take a take a look at that. Ah, it should, gave me two more mineral spots. I already found that one. Yeah. Okay, so we'll stop at this one on the way there and this one on the way there. Oops. Get in the car. Ooh, looks like gold. Oh, cobalt. You have successfully surveyed a large deposit of cobalt. This beacon was a guest trap! Oh my god, we're gonna die! <laughs> you failed again. Oh my goodness, I'm just driving around in a circle around this damn thing. Where is it? Way down in there? What the hell? You've successfully surveyed a large deposit of palladium. Palladium. According to my radar, there's danger of it. You please. I may cause a bad enough smoking problem as it is. Heading to position. Let's go kick some ice. Caden, come on now. Do you mind, you darn Krogans?
Oops, uh, I put away my gun. Okay, <gasps> no! Oh my gosh, that's not my buddy. I let the enemy through. Why do I think I put my gun away? That one's stuck. There we go. Oh, sweet goodness. No, come on! <laughs> Bad time to overheat. Oh, thank the goddess. Who else wants some? I hear you somewhere. Oh, it's a meta gel. Nice. I'll take that. Too slow. Oh, that poisoned me. Oops. I threw my only grenade. Clear. I don't know if I had to shoot those, but why not? And I believe we just got a codex. Uh, excuse me, thank y'all. Do you mind? Uh, do you mind? Space combat general tactics. Shells lofted by surface navies crash back to Earth when their acceleration is overwhelmed by gravity and air resistance. In space, a projectile has unlimited range. It will keep moving until it hits something. Practical gunnery range is determined by the velocity of the attacker's ordnance and the maneuverability of the target. Beyond a certain range, a small ship's ability to dodge trumps a larger attacker's projectile speed. The longest ranged combat occurs between dreadnoughts, whose projectiles have the highest velocity but are the least maneuverable. The shortest range combat is between frigates, which have the slowest projectile velocities and highest maneuverability. Opposing dreadnoughts open with a main gun artillery duel at extreme ranges of tens of thousands of kilometers. The fleets close, maintaining evasive lateral motion while keeping their bow guns facing the enemy. Fighters are launched and attempt to close the disruptor torpedo range. Cautious admirals weaken the enemy with ranged fire and fighter f strikes before committing to close action. Aggressive commanders advance so cruisers and frigates can engage. At long range, the main guns of cruisers become useful. Friendly in interceptors engage enemy fighters until the attackers enter the range of ship-based guardian fire. Dreadnoughts fire from the rear, screened by similar or screened by smaller ships. Pardon me. Commanders must decide whether to commit to a general melee or retreat into FTL. At medium range, ships can use broadside guns. Fleets intermingle, and it becomes difficult to retreat in order. Ships with damaged kinetic barriers are vulnerable to wolfpack frigate flotillas that speed through the battle space. Only fighters and frigates enter close knife fight ranges of 10 or fewer kilometers. Fighters lose their disruptor torpedoes, bringing down a ship's kinetic barriers and allowing it to be swarmed by frigates. 
Guardian lasers become viable weapons, swatting down fighters and boiling away warship armor. Neither dreadnoughts nor cruisers can use their main guns at close range. Laying the bow on a moving target becomes impossible. Superheated thrusters exhaust becomes a hazard. Oh, Captain Willem. Anomaly identified. You have discovered the corpse of Captain Willem of the MSV Majesty. His stiff fingers are wrapped tightly around a small data pad. How sad. All right. Let's head back to the Citadel and let Gareth know. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Aye, aye, Capitan. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. Sorry, guy. Alright, guys. I think that's going to be it for now. Um, we went ahead and got some of those side quests out of the way. So, next time we um, hop on here, uh, I will probably get Asteroid... Uh, 57, I believe it's called. We'll get that done and taken care of and see what that's all about. I hope you guys are being safe and, um, you know, looking out for one another. If you enjoyed what you're watching, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like, and turn on them notifications. Uh, until the next video. I should go.